everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm not going to really do a new introduction to another animal. Today I'm going to do one of those DIY uh, rock hides that a lot of people have been doing online. I thought it would be really cool. And I've been meaning to decorate my axolotl tank so I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to jump right in and this is what I decided to do as far as my animal hide. I really wasn't sure what to do. I didn't seem to find anything online so I'm kind of just going to wing it. So let's see what I can come up with. So first thing you want to do is soak them in boiling water. This way it'll kill any bacteria or germs um, and just like disinfect them before you put them in the tank. Uh, this way they're nice and clean. And I kind of just... Started. First thing that you're gonna need is I bought a like four or five bags of rocks from the dollar store. The one by me didn't have any of like the fancy large rocks as far as the river rocks. They just had the plain, uh, just gray stones, which I think is gonna work out pretty well because a lot of them were really flat. And the flatter they are, the easier they are to put together and glue each other to. And then I did also pick up a bag of like the smaller ones. These ones, you want to make sure that you're not just leaving on the bottom of the tank because you don't want any small gravel or rocks or anything like that that the axolotl can ingest. Um, they will try to eat them if they are small enough, which is why any of these large rocks that I have left over, I may just leave along the bottom of the tank. These ones will be glued to anything that is going in the tank. This way he will not be able to eat it. So I kind of have like a small layout already of how I kind of want it to go. Hopefully it'll work out that way, but I guess we will see. Um, you're also going to need a pack of glue sticks and a hot glue gun. Please be careful when using the hot glue gun. Um, if you're underage, please ask for parent permission or help. This way you don't get hurt. Uh, yeah, let's get started. flat ones are really good um, to 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 okay the arms a few moments later all right guys so I would say that's pretty much about it. You can really do whatever you want with it. As you can tell, it's really just your own creativity. Just let your mind go wild. You know, I have this little piece. Just, really, it's nothing, but it'll be cute instead of just having the rocks just plain on the floor. Just a little, little extra something, and then we'll have the hide. Be sure to let it dry fully, because you don't want it to just like fall apart on you. <laughs> Alright guys, so I brought you over to meet my Kip. This is my juvenile axolotl. So as you can see, his tank is really boring. Yes, I know it's not full all the way to the top right now, but that's because I'm going to be adding the rocks and the new rock hide that I made for him. So I didn't want to fill it all the way to the top because that will bring up the water levels a little bit. And then once I add all of his new decor and all the, the bedding, um, I will add more water and do another water change for him. Alright guys, so this is the final product. Still kind of plain. I'm going to be getting some greenery to put in his tank and then I'm also going to get a bubbler and a filter as well, which I'll be getting tomorrow. And I'll post some pictures on my Instagram page of his tank once I get the bubbler and the filter and the greenery to liven up the tank a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and like below. Leave a comment on anything that you guys want to see in the future and let me know what you think of 
his hide and if you guys are going to be doing it as well make sure you comment and tag me on your posts on instagram if you do make a hide so i can take a look at it all right bye guys Woo! Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me